I had just waken out of a dream. Now excuse my voice if I sound a bit half sleep or groggly. Um, I just woke up, but I had this dream and this has got to be one of the best videos, dream videos that I've ever created. In this dream, I was in this warehouse and it was run by a foreign dude. I don't know if he was Arab. He was. He looked like he was some type of Middle Eastern dude, but he had a lot of stuff in that warehouse. And I had an original poster of Stymie, this character right here. It was a poster I've never seen before, but it was the first poster that was ever created of Stymie. So I went to the counter and I had asked the dude, I'm like, yo, I said, you have this poster, man? I said, do you realize how much this poster is worth? I said, this is like the first poster that was ever made about Stymie. Now, I didn't say Stymie in the dream. And so, he said, yeah, he said, I have a lot of copies of that poster right here. So he went in the corner and there was um, a whole roll of posters. They were like, a lot of them, but they was like rolled up and they had plastic around them. And they were like kind of just stuffed in a corner, which is interesting. These posters were stuffed in the corner and they were very old. And I'm like, do you realize how much this is worth? And he said, hey, you could have them. You could take them. You can have them. So I took the posters and I unrolled them. And there was a couple of people that wanted one. And I said, you know what? I said, tell you what, I'll sell the posters for like 20 bucks. So I started selling the poster. They were buying, they started buying these posters. And I said, I'm only selling to you for 20 bucks. I said, they're a lot worth, they're a lot, they're worth a lot more than twenty dollars because these are like the first posters ever made of stymie so i'm selling these posters and they sell it out and then in the same warehouse i'm talking to this older man this this real senior man and keep in mind these people are dead even the man that i was talking to he was dead and he played the ukulele and I think there was like I don't know if it was a, a poster or an album cover with him on it and I said wow I said you play the ukulele I said I said that's yours so he uncovered this really old ukulele that he played and I said you know what I said let me hear you play it man play a little bit of something man and then this voice I heard this voice I'm not saying it's coming from heaven or wherever, but somebody said he don't play for black people. He only play for white people. And then I said to him, I said, and the man, he just kind of like, he was nice. He just kind of like, nah, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to play. I said, oh, I said, so you don't play for black people. You only play for white people. And he just said, he just kind of smiled and said, I'm not, I'm not going to play. But he showed me the ukulele and he was a ukulele player. Now keep in mind, these are people that existed way back in time, like say the 1920s or before. And I had this dream, so the minute I woke up, Stymie, which was one of the little rascals, stayed in my mind. So I decided to pull this picture up because I was gonna do this video about this dream I had. The first thing I saw was the definition of his name, Stymie. Prevent or hinder the progress of. Now, that's the way it's always been for black people. The so-called black Americans' progress has always been hindered or prevented. If you look at the black Wall Street, the black financial district, how it was attacked, it was bombed from the air was being prevented or hindered the progress of. 
And it also says the changes must not be allowed. And then it says to stymie. So we always hear about change. Barack Obama came talking about change. But the change had nothing to do with the so-called black Americans. So their progress has been hindered and prevented. Now also keep in mind that if you notice Stymie, out of all the little rascal characters, he, although he dressed raggedy, he was ghetto fabulous. He was business minded. He dressed well, according to that time. But his color, his race, stymied his progress. So I just thought that was interesting and I think that was the message or there was a message in that dream. But I dreamt of his posters. I had all of these posters and the people behind the counter had no idea of the value that these posters had. And then I end up running to the older guy. And you know what? I remember seeing that older man on a poster a long time ago. And it's a, it's a poster of him by himself. And I seen that when I was younger. But he was playing what looks like a ukulele. If I find that image, I'm going to show it. But I just find it interesting I had that dream. So comment. Tell me what you think. Until next time. I'm fearless.